What's going on, my dudes? Check it out. Today's video is designed around helping you with your firmware for the Kronos Zen. It's a really quick and easy process to both set up the firmware as well as the new Zen Studio app. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, here's what we're looking at. First thing I need you guys to do is go to Google or something of a search bar and type in Kronos Zen Downloads. You're going to see the Kronos Zen right there at the top, the actual Kronos download. So click that. It's going to take you to this page. If you find a different page, you're not in the right spot. Uh, scroll down. And right here at the bottom, what you're going to look at is the thing that helps you um, update the firmware for your Kronos Zen device specifically. So click that. It's going to download it. From there, open it. You can find it in your download spot, or you can just have it shown in the folder. And then after you show it in the folder, it's going to pop up and you know you can see it from there. Just double click it. All right, so moving along from there, here's what we're looking at. We need the short USB cable hooked into the top of the Zen. After that, hook it into the USB port on your PC. From there, turn it over, the little button on the back, hold it down for three seconds. You'll see Zen bootloader. Now, go back to this section right here. As you hit that button on the back of it, the little blue button, and you get Zen bootloader to pop up, there you go. You'll get this so it, it basically sees your device. Click it, turn the bar from blue to gray, and check the top level beta firmware. So click that, hit continue, and then from there, it'll begin your update after you hit begin update. All right, so now it is Installing the brand new firmware that you need for your Kronos to work properly with the Studio app, which is what we're going to download next. So after this is all said and done, give it a minute. All right, there it is. You're going to see update complete. So click out of that, click out of the other thing. Now, we want to download the new Zen Studio app. What you need to do is go to the download button right there, the green button right there, and hit download. It's going to do the same thing. You can go in your download folders and find it, or you can hit the button on the bottom right there where you can show it in your folder or just open it up from there. Either way, whatever works for you guys. What I think you should do is drag it to your desktop from there and then open up Zen Studio app. So now you have it. You can get rid of the other one if you have the other one saved on your desktop. You can even uninstall it if you want. This is the new Zen Studio app right here. So here's the next part of this equation. Open up by double clicking on it, Zen Studio app. And what you're going to see is this right here first. You now have to connect the right-sided cable. It's pretty clear the right-sided cable has a different USB attachment port. Connect that, then use that other end of the USB to connect to your PC. And from there, you're going to get this updated image, and you'll see what that looks like right now. So there it is. You've got all the different things that you can play around with. I'll do another video on Call of Duty, on Destiny, or anything that you guys prefer for game packs so you can see what we're looking at, how to use them. But that's it. Long and short of it. Bye, right, my dudes. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Any questions, any comments, anything like that, leave them in the comment section down below. Remember, I love all you guys. Keep it zen out there.